डेड और अलाइ A remote village in Middle East country named Jordan. There lived a tailor named Jack. He was incredibly specialized in his work. In his birth town, Hena, only few know about him. That was quite strange. It was too, because in a small town, people already find each other close. But this was not only with him. His uncle Lin and his father Thomas. Or also not seen much in Hannah. Only few know about him, and who know about him really pay attention to him next time. But there was something that they were hiding from their family. Some told that their family was just dumb, and some told they have a crazy streak to remain serious. Now people rarely talked of them. At night. When Jeff left Jordan to find some work rather than doing his family's work at his hometown, he left to Israel, where he lived a very happy life. Months passed, then a year passed, then a full decade passed. He decided to settle there. After a decade. He was treated very brutally by some strangers, and they forced him to left Israel and go back to his home. And when he came back after a decade, now no one knew him, and refused his introduction to his own house. It made him speechless. He decided to went home tomorrow because his father was drunken. refused his introduction it was a terrible night in the afternoon as the sun was tremendously scorching over them like it in the night the coldness like moon's wildness made his bones to shiver therefore he decided to march toward his one and only friend which he had met many years before maybe just 11 years ago Now he was staring at him in a way that a judicial over criminal, thinking that I should rather give shelter to this man or not. But Jeff misunderstood that he had identified his friend. He wished him goodwill like a hungry grizzly and tried to hug when he accepted his introduction, but he refused to do so and showed. Jeff the way towards the garage. He managed to sleep there as he was going to sleep. He saw his childhood photo with that friend placed over a shelf and which was eating web of spiders. He took it and started to run towards the friend's room. He had just took a small nap when Jeff merely jumped over to his bed saying to him Do you still save these cards for? The matter was ridiculous. When his friend took a shot gun against him, as you told him, to be back until I don't call authority. Neither I will shoot you. He decided to remain back and understood the whole matter. After some few seconds, he made him a call. This is me, as you demore. Your old. This is me, Jeff. Your old friend, as you. Oh, really? Really? He started to laugh. Well tried, Brian. You poor man. I must understood before that you are a cheater, and why I should give you a shelter. Jeff stared at him. Do you really don't know me as you? Then remarked. Me, who is this one who's standing before you in this photo? As your smile got suspicious, what do you know about this poor man? He remarked, "I am Jeff, the tailor." As you started to laugh, ordinary. How is it possible that a dead man get resurrection? Jeff nodded. What the heck you are talking about? I'm 
standing before him. Azio's wife also wake up and told to him, "What is happening?" Azio had hidden the gun from her. The authority knocked the door and questioned, "Is everything right, young man? You made us a call." As you told them to go back, and there is nothing happening. The authorities went and away. As you told to the mayor, nothing, mayor. I made a wrong call. Sorry for disturbing. After that, he turned away. Chef was in the kitchen and was eating his dinner. As you takes a chair for him, told to sit. And chef, so really, you survived the crash. Chef told him, "Let me to eat after the dinner. I will tell you everything." As your wife gave him the dinner, it was told to me by somebody that they had seen you in Israel, but I was not believing because your family had accepted your death. Truth, but they will be very happy to know. Sit at the back of my bag. We are going towards your home. Hey, listen. I don't think so. Now, first of all, tell me the accident which I survived, as I don't have any accident. Five years before, an Australian man approached your father and told that your son died while an excavation was going on in a coal mine in the Middle East. He gave death money to your and told that he was unable to recover Jeff's body lying under the mines. Since then, I have seen your father only for two or three times. Jeff Mark, something is going quite strange. This is not a simple case. He told to Azio to hide his identity, and made his father assured that the person who approached yesterday was mad. Next morning, Azio does as his friend had told. In the afternoon, he came back to him in the afternoon, and since then. His identity was kept secret. Next day, both of the men unidentified the mystery, as Jeff was the only heir of his parents. So his uncle does attack us with his father, that they would shock as a drama of his death in front of his parents, and therefore he also came to know that why he wasted. He was tried to kill that Israel. All and things made him shocked. Next morning, they arrived to our chap's home. After telling all the story, their parents also identified him, and he remembered that if that night, if her, if his father had not drunken, and if his father had identified him, then they would not be able to unsolve this mystery. Authorities are called. And they encourage both the friends to unsolve the mystery. The mystery that the uncle was creating, creating seems to be quite meaningless. But the penalty was given by authority according to law. And when his uncle was taken to cell, he silently gave him secret time messages, and he was. Also confused about the mystery. Is it he was? Who was?